Hi there. Welcome back to our Flat Like You Stole It YouTube channel. I'm Kevin Lacey. I'll be your host today. Today we're going to be talking about hand propping an airplane engine. Uh, it's not real hard. It's not real difficult. It's easy to do if you know how to do it. But you really need to pay attention to some particular safety precautions. Uh, right now, I'm going to turn you over. To, now, I'm going to turn you over to a little clip published by the FAA regarding it during a hand propping accident. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. All right then, I hope that video was entertaining for you guys. Well, that poor guy, I feel sorry for him. He was hanging on for his dear life, wasn't he? Well, there's a few things he could have done to prevent that from happening, and hopefully I'm gonna show you some tricks here that I incorporate every time I hand prop this airplane that prevents it from running away like that. Now, don't get me wrong, when I first got this airplane, it did run away from me once, but it went off across the field there, and I was able to catch it and get it stopped before it uh, hurt itself or anything else. Uh, First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime the engine, which is pulling the prop through so that I can get fuel up into the combustion chamber on all four cylinders. Uh, but prior to doing that, I've set the brake inside the airplane. I've also set some chocks underneath it. I hope you can see that. And I put a string across the chocks so that I can pull the chocks from one side. Why would I hand prop the airplane, you ask? Well, <laughs> there's no other way to start it. Uh, and having done it and been experienced at it for so long, it's now just about like starting a lawnmower. It's no real big deal. But you really need to be cautious because this propeller, once it fires up, it doesn't know what it's slicing through, whether it's the air, your arm, or whatever. It just turns into a 500 RPM beat cleaner. So at any rate, if you'll give me a second here, I'm gonna start twisting the prop to get it to prime. I'll be able to hear when the engine is primed up by listening through the carburetor here, the intake. It will give me a, a, a slurping sound, and that'll let me know that it is actually sucking fuel up into the carburetor. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the process, start this thing up, and then we're going to go fly for a minute, and then we'll come back and talk about it some more. Right now the magneto switch is off. The, car, the throttle is cracked about an eighth of an inch, and that's as far as I want it to go. Now the max, the max switches are now on. I'm going to go ahead and twist the prop. It's going to start on the first pull. Watch this. See how easy it is. I'm going to put this together in a few different clips so that we have this. 
Best seat in the house. 